Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the IFS statement, I-F-S. First of all though, I want to name these figures, these scores, I want to name them score in the name box in the top left there. Type in the word score and press in enter. Now I can refer to the word score in my formula. So the formula is equals IFS ifs open the bracket. So you can see there as a test result, test result, test result, etc. etc. So the test is if score is greater than 90, comma, so test, now the result, they would get an A grade like that. And then I'm going to follow that down. So if score is greater than 80, comma they get a b grade so any text you put has to go inside quotes comma so if score is greater than 50 comma a c grade so as long as you get the number sequence right it will work fine so you could put 50 first for example because then you would never get any 90s or 80s so the last one would be comma in this example score greater than zero so if the score is greater than zero up to 50 comma that would be a fail right so in quotes close the bracket press enter on that gets an a grade get your little black cross double click that down and you can see the scores here like so so if i put 44 that should be fail if I put 34, that should also be fail. So this is working fine. 23, fail. And then the top one, I'll just go 78. Should be a C grade. And then you could, if you wanted to, put conditional formatting on that to color up the fails red or something like that. So I'll just do that option, conditional formatting, manage rules, and then add. And then I could go e cell value is equal to and then type the word fail in there for red. And then just change that to bad, which is going to be red. Okay. Okay. So it flags up all of the reds. And then you go back into there and do maybe not equal to would be green. So add the uh, cell value is equal to not equal to this time. Cell value is not equal to and then the word fail in quotes. And that should trigger everything else. And that will be format green or good. And then OK to that. And then OK again when this decides to show itself. OK like so so if you fail somebody it'll go red so that's all to talk about in this little video how you can use the ifs ifs function and then use conditional formatting to enhance the results so hopefully that video was of use thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one